what's up guys welcome back to our channel and if it's your first time here hi how are you thank you so much for stopping by today we're gonna be making a delicious cheddar garlic biscuits so let's get started so we're gonna start with spraying our pan that i just did there and now we're just gonna mix all of our, our dry ingredients and guys these biscuits are so easy they're so good they take no time so we're gonna be putting my flour i keep think of my baking powder salt garlic powder and i'm gonna use one stick of cold butter mi gente todo lo que tú le pongas a este bowl tiene que ser bien frío de la nevera you're gonna see me coming in and out of well you're gonna see my hands <laughs> coming in and out of the um the screen that's because i'm getting everything out of the fridge te tiene que estar segura que todo te frío so um yeah so i'm using one stick of butter y lo que voy a hacer ahora i'm gonna grate my butter and this is an easier way to incorporate your butter con tu harina but you know if you don't have a grater you can cut it in little pieces and also um and just like smash it when you put it in the flour a little bit and um, yeah so but if you are grating it well as you grate it la mantequilla se te va a derretir it's gonna um, start to melt a little bit you just dip it in your flour and that will give you a little bit more stability to keep on grating so yeah this basically i'm telling you they're easy you can make this in the morning just as a fast breakfast they are that quick and delicious so yeah i keep tengo my butter i'm still grating it just grating away <laughs> and yeah i feel like this is an easier way to um incorporate your flour to your butter because mira como se ve la, la mantequilla you see it's it's just a little bit easier so what we're gonna do we're just gonna take your fork and then you're just gonna mix all of that up y tu, uh, you want to make sure that you work fast porque como te dije everything has to be cold so you can get some nice flaky biscuits so ya que tu harina se ve así you're gonna add um you see it's kind of like wet sand consistency so okay now that it looks like that le vamos a echar una copa de cheddar cheese look at that and everything my cheddar cheese is also very cold so yeah you're gonna add this right after you grate your butter you're gonna add your cheddar cheese and then you're gonna mix all of that up and then now we're gonna add a dry parsley and guys the dry parsley is just for looks you know you just want your biscuits to look pretty you don't have to add it if you don't want but if you are adding the dry parsley you're gonna add one teaspoon of that and then you're just gonna mix all of that up and then now we're gonna add our wet ingredients which is which is just buttermilk or homemade buttermilk that that's what i did so homemade buttermilk is very easy so i have one cup of milk a little bit more than a cup of milk that's just in case you need a little bit more but well um back to the homemade buttermilk <laughs> you add one cup of milk plus one teaspoon of vinegar and then you're just gonna let that sit for five minutes and voila you have homemade buttermilk but if you can just buy it at the store if you want and then you're gonna mix all of that up and then you're gonna get a nice sticky thought that's what you want mira como se ve esa masa así que tú quieres como pe como like sticky you know that's what you want if you added too much flour, then too much de la, de la leche que quedó. Pero esta masita te va a quedar nice and easy. Mira que linda se ve. Then just mix all of that up until you get that nice consistency. Alright guys, so after everything is nice and mixed, we're gonna um, cook our biscuits. Oh, you see, I didn't use the extra milk that I added. Because guys, these measurements are on point follow them you're gonna get really good biscuits <laughs> so i'm using a small ice cream scoop but you can use a bigger one you can make bigger biscuits also if you want it just cook them longer and you're just gonna poop drop them in your in your prepare pan and your tea tray or in your cast iron and i use my cast iron for everything guys i know you see that a lot but it's gonna cook them nice and even and make sure you keep them together so they can elevate together so that's what make also tall biscuits when you cook them together and whoop i almost lost the ball <laughs> so 
but if you don't want to make so many biscuits you can just get whatever um amount you're gonna make and then just put that dough back in the freezer and you can use it it's good for up to maybe like four days a week the most so yeah is you see guys these biscuits are so easy they are also delicious and they take no time so after you have your pan like that you're gonna bake this a 400 for 15 to 20 minutes and if you're making bigger biscuits you do 20 to 25 minutes but here is my cheddar garlic drop biscuits guys my kitchen it smells so good between the garlic and the cheese and they smell delicious so now i want to give you a little close-up well I already did give you a little close-up and i'm just putting some butter on top and this is optional you can um you don't have to do the butter on top but it's gonna make it's gonna make your um biscuits look nice and pretty on top you can also add some honey on top instead of butter but whatever you do guys make sure you make this biscuits your family is gonna love it they are easy to make you can make this in the morning any time of day they are so good and you can even make this for dinner as a little side but let me show you look how cute my biscuits look guys you see how nice and big they look look how they look inside you can see the cheese you can see that little parsley thank you so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe we went for